capture a screenshot in CapCut, uh, the first thing that you'll do is in your project timeline here uh, that's on your dashboard, you're gonna move this cursor over to the point in your video of what, uh, what shot you're wanting to capture uh, within the project. So as you can see, I've moved my cursor right here, right to the middle of the project and in my preview, uh, on the dashboard that's right here. Whatever's showing here is what your uh, screenshot is going to capture uh, when you take it within CapCut. So I have this point here, I have this look uh, on my face of uh, shock and awe, uh, which is perfect for this uh, video in particular that I'm trying to get a screenshot for. Um, it's perfect if you're trying to create uh, thumbnails and things like that and so that's this is a perfect uh, a setup for that but it's very very easy to do and it works this way both on Mac and uh, PC so I have my timeline uh, cursor moved to exactly where I want it this is the shot that I want and so right up here in this preview section of this dashboard I'm just gonna scroll all the way up to here these this menu item here these three bars I click that and then there it is right there export still frame so when I click that that's the screenshot that I'm capturing uh, it allows you to name uh, the file. It allows you to select the destination of where you want that file to go. It also allows you to select the resolution. Uh, you can go all the way up to 4K. Let's do nice 4K footage of my face. And then you can also do the format, a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, either one works for thumbnails. I normally just stick to PNG just to keep the, the file size smaller. Uh, but if you want a JPEG, you can do that as well. And then you just click... Uh, export and then you can actually import it into the project too. that little button there but see now it's imported it into the project and that's the uh, still frame so if you didn't want that you could have uh, deselected that but that is a quick rundown we can do that again so i can show you click here export still frame and then this piece here that's what i just missed quickly import project you can unselect that and that means that it won't import it back into your project when you uh, export it but it doesn't really matter either way um, but that is a, a quick rundown of how to take a screenshot or capture a screenshot within the cap cut uh, dashboard and it works that way both on pc and mac hope that helped you guys out uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment sections below Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time Comet Creators, end transmission.